Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and I am back making videos. Um, I'm going to be continuing doing Let's Plays and whatnot, uh, but I want to start a new thing. That's what today is all about. It's going to be quick looks at games that, you know, aren't really worthy of a Let's Play, or are short, or I just want to give a quick look at them uh, in order to just kind of show you guys cool games. And then also today's video, I'm going to talk about what I'm going to be doing and all of that different stuff. Um... Because tomorrow is technically when I wanted to come back and start doing videos, uh, but I'm going to do it today um, with this video, just a short little quick look at this, um, probably be 20 minutes, uh, which is, I think I'm just going to call this a quick look at, that's going to be the series, and then it'll have dot dot dots because for the playlist, because then it'll be whatever the game is. Okay, enough about that, but what game we are looking at today is called Gems of War. It is free on the Xbox One. And uh, it does have in-app in purchases um, like you would expect with a free-to-play game. Um, it follows kind of the motto. It, it kind of, we'll, I'll explain it more when you get into the gameplay, but it has this daily bonus stuff, kind of like um, apps similar to this and stuff like that. It gives you daily bonuses and all of that stuff, um, as well as, you know, guild bonuses and all of this different stuff. Stuff. Uh, also, this is a great game for achievement hunting, uh, if you're into that like I am. Uh, you, you unlock different kingdoms, and you complete them, pretty much. They take a while to complete, um, so you probably will end up unlocking kingdoms faster than you gain gold. I really haven't played this game in a while, but it is a pretty fun game. Uh, and the cost of the kingdoms to unlock go up as you go. Uh, and then I'll take you, I'll show you guys a quick look at the, um, achievements here. Uh, I'm not gonna probably a thousand percent this, cause it, it's fun, um, uh, but you really have to get into it for it to be really fun. Um, but you can see one kingdom away from that, uh, unlock 50 different troops, I'm pretty close to that. Uh, and then the level ones, level 100 would take forever. Uh, master any challenge by gaining five stars, I'll show you that, I already did that, it just... It won't give me the achievement. Um, there's a lot of just capturing uh, the kingdoms, uh, reaching levels, uh, invade an enemy that's just online, uh, and gain a star. Uh, that's with the challenge. That once you get five, there's level f uh, 10, 25 different troops, 10 different troops, join or create a guild, capture two kingdoms, change your hero's costume, and finish the tutorial. So it has pretty easy achievements if you're into that like I am. Um... I will show you here. I believe it is Broken Spire that I completed a challenge. Let's see here. There it is. Yeah, you can see Mastered Ogre Tribe uh, did not give me the achievements, so I don't really know what the uh, the issue is. Let me figure out where I was. I think I am here. So we'll go ahead and, yeah, here we go. So we'll get into some gameplay here. Um, it's pretty simple. Uh, if we can hop into this. I wish you could turn the vibration off on these stupid Xbox One controllers. Why it doesn't let you? Uh, you get a four, uh, it's really a three troop uh, team, and then your hero, kind of your leader, because uh, you're stuck with them. Um, I have a black dagger as my weapon, um, but we'll get into more of that as I explain it here. You can scout, I guess I'll go ahead and scout just to show you guys what it's all about. Um, it really isn't necessary, it just shows you what they have on their team. Um, an Acolyte, Poison Master, Dark Maiden, and the Warlock. Uh, nothing really um, to be gained. You can look at what cards they are, I guess. Um, but that's about that's about it. They're pretty strong. Um, but I, I should be able to handle it. I'll probably lose here just because I'm making a video. But I'll try to explain this to the best of my ability. Uh, and just give you guys the, the look here. Okay, so you tend to always go first. Uh, and so if you look at this, these three skulls will do an attack, and you can see the crossed, um, this is, it follows the motto kind of of Hearthstone, if you look at how it's set up with the attack, health, and shields, um, it follows kind of that mo that mantra, but, um, not, not entirely. Uh, so these do the damage, um, just straight up attacks, but if you collect these, um, the, uh, the elemental things here I'll do this one because if you get four in a row you get an extra turn uh, which is huge in this especially with these you can try to set it up so that you can get that and as you can see with that you can see a four out of 16 for my ogre 
uh, king at the top, or whatever his goblin king or whatever the heck his name is. Um, at the top, you can see the four out of sixteen. That is the elements, different things. You can see my hero down at the bottom is three out of eight. Once you fill those up, you get to use their special ability, which we will get into a little bit later here. But let me go ahead and do this. So you guys can see the damage. So there, my my hero or my it always attacks with your lead off uh, person. And so you have to keep an eye on that, and you have to figure out damage, um, but this is going to deal some significant damage to me. Okay, never mind. For some reason, the computer's AI is stupid sometimes, and they won't use these um, for whatever reason uh, the game has for that, but go ahead and just use it again. You can see that... Uh, the computers, you, you'll see here, on Earth Secrets, it's going to turn a lot of those into black um, mana, crystal, or whatever they want to call them in this game, mana circles. Um, but it turns them all into that, and then it allows them to get extra turns, allows them to take apart um, different, uh, use their, it gets that, what am I trying to say, it gets them different um, of the the elemental things that they need for others because it will eliminate a lot of the ones and then when it eliminates it uh, this is hard to explain now that I'm here trying to explain it but it'll eliminate a bunch because the blacks will be in threes or four or five pairs so then it'll reset the board almost and that tends to drop you know like the Sun here it'll drop three of those in a row and that's what pretty much happened um, that's why I got that attack um, well, let's go ahead and keep on going here. Uh, you got to kind of keep in mind what you want to, what you want to, what uh, which one of your troops you want to get their ability. I want to get Athena, so I need to be using the sun, and I believe that's the, the moon, the crescent moon. Uh, and so, for some reason, whenever I play now, um, I have that spider queen in the third spot. They always try to get rid of her. Um, her ability is not that good in my opinion. It's not really the ability that I want to use. Um, so I just, I don't even mess with it. I just let them kill her. Even though she is pretty helpful. Um, not really exactly, uh, I don't need her to win. I really just need Athena and then I need my Goblin King to soak up damage. That's really what he's for at the top. Um, but you saw there a little bit of a quick and easy streak of... Uh, four in a row it really lets you get some uh, of your stuff if you go ahead and you click let me see here what button is it what button is it ah there we go you hold you hold left bumper and then you click um on which character you want you see x y and a i forgot which button it was um and you can see black dagger is my special ability it deals seven damage to the last enemy um, but what I want to wait and do is use a feat, or Atlanta's ability, uh, deals 5 damage to all enemies, so I want to get rid of their shields before I go in with the stronger attacks, but, um, let's see here, I, I gotta use this, it's not actually that beneficial to me to kill that, because when as soon as I get Atlanta's ability, um, I would have been able to kill him anyway, that's kind of where, that's kind of the strategic part of this game, is trying to figure out when to when to actually just take the damage, opposed to actually, um, what am I trying to say? To actually take the damage instead of dealing it. Sometimes it actually is more beneficial to just take a hit, um, especially when you have a wall as your lead like I do. Um, but it's always alright to just deal the damage, not take any. Um, there are different ways I figured to play out, to, figured out to play this, uh, but it all tends to just yield the same result. So I've got my first one. He's going to take some damage for the first time. I finally dealt some damage to someone. Um, so Goblin Feast. Gain 5 life and remove all green gems from the board. Or to boost the effect. Uh, summon a level 3 Goblin. So I'll show you guys how this works. Go ahead and cast it. Goblin Feast. And it's going to give me another troop. A new troop. Uh, to replace the one that I've lost. If you don't have an empty troop spot, it actually won't summon anything. And you can see how much it bumped up my health uh, up to 22, creating like the ultimate wall, uh, essentially. So you have to keep kind of that in mind. Um, it, it follows kind of the same as any game where, you know, you, you put something up as like a wall, extra health, it's it's set to be a tank um, type character, and so 
in this game it really really helps um, with uh, the gameplay it makes it a lot easier um, I actually got that from spending I spent like whatever it was like two bucks to buy a um, um, I'll show you the different things you can buy, but to buy gems in order to open, or buy keys in order to open up some chests, I'll show you guys that in just a minute. Um, I lost totally where I wanted to go. I thought I saw a four. I guess not. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and use this Rain of Arrows, which is definitely my best, my favorite and best ability that I have through all of them is to deal the five damage to everybody, because that's a ton of damage. That's 20 damage. Um, I've yet to find uh, really... Anything that rivals that, that does nearly the damage. And so one of the things you can do that I do a lot is to hold on to an ability. Yes, it will not increase it anymore. And getting that color of uh, that element becomes useless. But I like to hold on to it. Because if I used it now, it would bump his last troop down to 3 health. Which doesn't really help me at all at this particular time. It will here in a minute once I recharge up. Uh, Atlanta's mana, uh, mana and I'm able to use my rain of arrows because then I can kill it um, but I would rather go about it you could use it and knock it down to three and then just whenever you wanted to you would have the ability to uh, kill it with the with the rain but I would rather see like this turn there aren't any moons and there aren't any uh, suns so this is actually the and there's no four in a row so this is the perfect time in my opinion to actually use this i know i was talking about saving it but if you use it um on those turns where there's nothing there for you and you're not going to really get a benefit from it uh i i find that to be if you want to use it a little bit early your best bet so there's a four here go ahead and take it um just pretty much so they can't have it um it did get my goblin see the goblin king the the ability uh, allows you to just keep your health up. If you can keep getting um, the different things that you need to get his mana up, it actually ends out ends up working really well. As you can see, he's still got 19 health. He's still being a tank out there, and so I, I haven't had to worry about losing my two major ones, uh, which are the the two major ones are my hero and the Atlanta. They're my keys to actually, you know, winning this. Uh, Venom Flask, I would assume, yeah, it does damage and then it gives, okay. Some of these abilities you don't see very often, so uh, you're not going to be able to like memorize all of them unless you play this game like 24-7. Uh, but the, the, the abilities tend to be the same, a lot of them just have a different, the different element that they uh, use or they get rid of on the board or whatever. Um, they all tend to be generally the same, and I just set them up for a four that the computer didn't take. Okay. Oh, there's the four, and then there's that one down. I really wish that would have fell differently, because it was essentially a waste. Let's see here. I'm not seeing anything that benefits me, so I have to just take... Oh, that was stupid. That was stupid. You can see why that was stupid, because I set them up for the easy... Um, three skulls for the damage, so that was a bad mistake on my part. Let's see, I think this will work. Yeah, that's where I wanted to drop that. Um, but this game is just kind of a lot of trial and, um, trials over and over again, just to figure out how you want to play it. And you can see here, before I even, they couldn't even kill my Goblin uh, King before I got the chance to heal it up again. Uh, but it is poison, so it is going to die here relatively quickly in the next couple of turns. Mm. You gotta look at this because I don't want to move this here and eliminate the line because then you can see it would line them up for a, for a for a three. This would fall down one, so it wouldn't be a four, but it would line them up for a three to deal damage. And you don't, I don't want to do that. Um, hmm. I don't like any of my moves. I guess I'll just take this up at the top and get Atlanta full. Sometimes you wanna you wanna play defense on this more. See, that didn't even help me. Um, you could play defense as much as you want, but 
ultimately sometimes it's not but that's gonna secure the win as long oh it gave me an extra turn so that's gonna pretty much end it because i'm gonna be able to use my brain of arrows here and take out these four so you know this is kind of like a combination of kind of like hearthstone in the damage and you know health and shield type uh approach with that it's kind of like um, there are games on the iPhone and, you know, the app stores and stuff like that that are similar to this. Um, not necessarily the same, but they are similar um, in kind of structure. Uh, I think there's like an Angry Birds version that's kind of like this. Um, and then there's different, uh, you know, there's Candy Crush and all of that different stuff uh, that deals with the gems and putting them into the into the right uh, order in order to just complete it. It's a lot more simple than this because there's no battling. Um, but here's the level up system. Where is my Goblin King? He's the one I want. Here he is, down here. So you can see he's level 7. Um, I'll show you. You can see level 1. But you can see the train cost. It deals with the souls. You can see in the top left there is my souls. I have 294. I have 225 left to train. Um, I would put it on Atlanta, but she's level 11, and I don't really need to level her up anymore. And so you will see the level up screen here. Hopefully it does a multi-level instead of just the singular. That'd be... Yeah, okay, train. Go ahead and train it. It's gonna drop my soul way down, but now it's going to be level 8. And you can see it leveled up its armor and its health. Sometimes you can get a really cool one where it'll boost, like, all four. Um, or you can get some... I've seen one or once or twice where it didn't boost anything which is horrible um but you can see here boosted armor health i really would have preferred magic and attack uh, but the armor is not bad the health is already high enough for me i don't really need it any higher for a for a wall uh but you can also disenchant oh it does this sometimes it'll just lose your cursor Okay, and so you can disenchant here for five. You can disenchant all your extra troops, all extra copies of this troop, or just the singular troop that you want to uh, disenchant. That, that that gets you souls. Usually, pretty the the quickest way to get there. And then here we go is the keys. Uh, you can buy an iron key, which is kind of just the basic free to play way to do it. And then there are magic keys. We'll visit the shop real quick so I can show you guys here. Um, handful of gems. You can buy the mother load of gems for a hundred bucks. I think all I did was buy like this one, the stack of gems, because five dollars, even though it's a free to play game, my Xbox games, I assume I'm going to pay money. So five bucks on this game was not bad. Uh, but you can see here keys. I think I bought the three magic keys, uh, but you can just uh, spend two bucks and get one magic key, or you can get 40 magic keys for 450. You can also buy gold if you want to. Uh, you can buy, these are costumes, uh, they apply different bonuses to your character. Um, obviously, most expensive one is dragon armor, also the celestial armor. Uh, they actually do have support for this game, they have been keeping it up, they have different events that go on and whatnot, uh, so keep that in mind, there is some different stuff like that. The celestial armor, I believe, is new, I don't, I don't remember seeing that the last time I looked at these, uh, but there are some cool armors that you get, uh, souls. You can buy different souls with the gems, uh, which is probably the best way to spend the gems, to be honest. They also have these limited time bundles that you can buy. They're pretty expensive, but when you first start out, I think I think that's the one I bought. There's one when you first start out that's five bucks, and it gives you the it gives you a bunch of gems, it gives you a bunch of souls and gold, and it gives you um, an armor or yeah, it gives you an armor uh, set. And so you get, um, it's kind of like a beginner's pack, and that's the one I suggest, would suggest that you buy. It disappears after you buy it once, which makes sense, um, but that's the one that, you know, I would suggest you buy. Then there are rewards. Uh, these are just different. Um, you get glory. You can see I have 70 glory. I have enough to get the Grave Knight if I wanted to, but he actually is not that good. Um... But you get those for different things, your village, your different kingdoms, some of them will bring you glory and souls and whatnot, and then sometimes you can get it from doing different things. Um, you cannot buy it, as far as I know, so you have to actually earn it and get it that way. Um, but then you can see I could redeem 10 for 40 souls, or this Withering Touch, which is 110, deal 4 true damage to the first enemy, gain 4 life, and drain the enemy's mana. That actually is really good. The best ones are the ones where you get to choose which one you drain the mana, uh, which is what my Spider Queen, or whatever her name is, that's the one that, that's her ability, is I can choose which one to drain. But they always focus her, no matter where I put her in my position, so she tends not to make it. Um... 
so I usually don't even get to use her ability. There's a guild area. I just created this guild um, to um, uh, to get the achievement. There's nothing I really do with this guild. Uh, there's not like there's anybody in it or anything. Um, and then there's PvP. Uh, PvP is essentially just exactly what you think it is. You just play against another person. I don't even know if you play against another person more than you just play against someone else's setup or troops or whatnot. Uh, but as you can see, this game is extremely long, and for free, it actually is an extremely long game. Um, so it's actually pretty worth it. Uh, you can see I completed Broken Spire and Adana. That probably took me four or five hours, and I would assume the farther you get out here, the harder it is, the more you're going to lose, and uh, the more, uh, the you know, how longer it will take you. So we'll go ahead and go over here to Golvania just to see what it is. And uh, see, the village of Galvania were dim and empty until I came face to face with Avena. Uh, don't come any closer. I don't care who you are. You're not going to stop me. You're not one of them. Best draw your weapon, then here they come. Okay, so it'll set you up like this, and then once you complete it, you'll roll on to like the next set of these. Um, they're pr pretty long, and then at the end, once you finish one of these campaigns, you actually get a. Um, a troop card, usually represented by whoever it is that is that kind of leads you through it, um, but not always. This one happens. I w I would assume because I think I've seen her before. I'm pretty sure you get her. You get her as your reward for completing this campaign. Can't be sure, but let's go ahead and battle. There's no real point in scouting. It's just a waste of 50, in my opinion. Uh, so I wouldn't suggest doing that. But I think this will be the last little battle uh, for the video. You can see that it actually takes decently long. Now, granted, I've been explaining how to play this game, so it's taking a little bit longer than normal to play one. Uh, but this is just going to be straight. Uh, I'm just going to straight just play. I'm not going to explain much. Um, I thought I did a decent job explaining originally, but this is probably one of the best starts that you could ever hope for on Gems of War is the one I just got and it's gonna continue because I keep getting extra turns. So this is about, I would say this is the best start that you can even ask for realistically. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna get the triple, I'm gonna get two triples out of this, I'm gonna move this black one over and it's gonna drop it down and get me to that one. So I think that's probably the best bet I had here. So I'll go ahead and do that and I'll finally end my turn with two full troops. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use this, which is going to kill one of those. It's going to kill the front guy and weaken the armor. Uh, and so I'll show you guys Spider Queen's ability here before she dies. It is Spider Queen. Okay, reduce an enemy's armor by three and then drain their mana. Um, it is a pretty good ability because you can pick which one you want. Uh, it also allows you to um, deal damage to the armor, which, which helps, but it's useless once the armor is all gone. Um, I probably should switch her out for a different character, or for a different troop, but at this time she's what I'm rolling with. Um, not really any other troops that I'm too into, because you really don't get to use all four of your abilities, and the way it's set up, you know, with Goblin King and Atlanta really being the two that I want to use the most, um, there's really no real point to get rid of. Spider Queen at this point in time. Alright, um... Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and use this. I set up the four. Alright, what does his ability... Oh my gosh, all the abilities are set up. And that's not good. Okay. Actually, that didn't. Actually, nothing bad happened there, so that's good. Um... I want to get Atlanta's ability up one more time before he's able to kill her, probably. So we'll go ahead and start out with with working on that. But the four in a row is so crazy. Sometimes you can get on streaks like I did at the beginning. I've gotten on longer than that in the middle of the game. You can kind of set it up and then... You know, you can kind of judge on when the computer is going to tend to use their abilities and when they're not. I'm going to go ahead and take these crescents, get Atlanta closer to closer to her ability. Take the four in a row. Okay. 
Is there any four in a rows on the board? I don't think so. No. So let's go ahead and take this. Get Atlanta able to use her ability. Was she able to use her ability before and I wasn't paying any attention? I think she was. Okay, no but oh well, let's go ahead and use this, knock him down. Now all I have to do is get three skulls in a row and look for water, and uh, this game should be over. See, that's a good ability. That one drops my attack, um, which since when you line up three skulls is always used by your first, your first um, troop. If you can drop the enemy's troop to zero, which you can, it actually helps you a ton because then you don't have to worry about you can let three skulls get in a row it's not going to hurt you it's not going to damage you and so actually tends to be actually a really good strat um no water lined up so that's kind of bad um i guess i'll take the the moons i need water so i could do uh so i could get my hero's ability, um, which is kind of the problem when you have a one element uh, ability is that you're kind of handicapped that you have to use water and no water is lining up so that's really killing me right now. But I guess I'll just go for Atlanta's ability since it's the best option I have right now. Let's go ahead and do that. Extra turn. Ooh. Okay, well that really doesn't matter which no I'm gonna go ahead and do it this way. It really didn't matter which way I went about that. The same one would have been alive and the same one would have been dead, so it doesn't it didn't really matter. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Hopefully I don't Ah oh, I said it. Oh 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 Yeah we go. GG <laughs> I, I I thought I was gonna set him up for the four that was just a bad setup, but I got lucky and it dropped. Um but let me just go ahead real quick here. Uh, we'll just sit at the menu here, and I'll explain what's going to be happening um, on my channel if you made it this far. Um, I'm going to be starting back with my Let's Plays. I'm going to be doing two games at a time at least, I think. Um, I have to figure out what my second game is going to be. Um, but tomorrow, which is Friday the... Is it the 29th, I think? Yeah, or, yeah Friday the 29th. Uh, this War of Mine, The Little Ones, comes out for Xbox One, so I'm going to be doing a Let's Play of that. I played it. I played um, uh, This War of Mine on the PC, um, and I liked it, and so I would assume this will be a little bit different. It's a little bit different, you know, with the name, and so it's a little bit different within the game. But I'm going to be Let's Playing that, and the goal, I think, is going to be, if there's only one newer game out, I'm just going to Let's Play one new game and one older game at a time, and um, I don't know if I'm going to be as... Um, pushing videos out as I was before. I was uploading like five or six videos a day. I think it'll be a little bit calmer, maybe like two or three videos a day. Um, I don't think I... And, unless it's like a really popular new game, like when Far Cry Primal or Dark Souls 3 comes out, I probably will push out more than a video or two of it a day. I'll probably push out a lot more at the beginning. Um, but... That's pretty much what's going to be going on on my channel. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll be doing a lot of quick looks at different games, uh, different arcade games, free games, different stuff like that. I'll take quick looks at them and uh, just give you guys my opinion. I really enjoy this game, uh, but go download it. It's free. Give it a try. And I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace out.